hello guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel um if you are coming here for the first time i'm asking you to please please subscribe to my channel um it means a lot to me to have you subscribe to my channel uh and if you are regular i'm saying welcome back to the channel uh, so today's video is another late upload. Um, I'm going to explain in my next video why I'm uploading late videos on this channel. Um, I've been going through a lot, but um, things are coming back on track now. Uh, and I shall be posting regularly on this channel. Uh, so this is an up a, a late upload. I took this video during the summer season in my village and um i know i've showed you my village during the rainy season where it was so lush so green so beautiful and i feel i must show you like all seasons like what my village looks like during the um, during the summer season uh because it's so different during the summer season as you can see it's so dry so dry and so hot um my village is one of the most hottest village uh, hottest places that you can find here in um zimbabwe uh zaka is so hot it really gets hot during the summer season uh so this is my village during the summer season um still so beautiful still so beautiful still so peaceful as you can see there is you know the village is so peaceful i love village life like especially here in zimbabwe village life is so peaceful away from the hustle and bustle of the city um i like it i like it so much in the village so uh, your village girl is going to show you more of this village during the summer season uh so let's go with me so that i show you some more of uh, this village during the summer season. This one you see here is a bridge um it's small i know but for us in the village um we don't see it as small as you see it you know maybe mainly because this is home for us and we are used to it 
we are used to this um so you can see little water on the river uh this is one of the rivers that uh always be having water during the summer season uh in my village during the summer season it gets so so dry such that uh on some of the rivers you know it will be dry 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 you won't even find a speck of water on the um, on the river because it gets so hot it gets so dry in my village during the summer season um but this is home for us uh and we love our home you know the beauty that we see here i know like people from this first world or from um better countries uh they'll be like hey how uh, how do you people survive here but because this is home for us we love this place and um so many memories that are attached to this place uh, you know, we love our home. Uh, so during, this is during the um, summer season. So dry. Um, without so much activity. Like, uh, as you see here, um, these are fields, people's fields. Um, because during the summer season, the ground will be so dry. Uh, so there won't be much activity going on um, in the fields. Uh, people will be mainly focusing on their gardens. So people will be focusing on their, um, on their gardens so that they have relish um, in their homes. But there won't be so much activity in, a, uh, in the village during this time, the summer season. Uh, because my village, yeah, it's a village, it's a farming village, but it's mostly um, subsistence farming, um, where we only farm uh, for family consumption. Yeah, sometimes we have extra where we sell um, it to the grain marketing board. Sometimes we sell it to those that won't have had good harvests on their field. Um, but um, mainly uh, in my village, it's a subsistence farming village where we only farm for family consumption, you know. Uh, so we, we do have um, something to eat in the village, like all year round. Uh, after harvesting, um, we put our grains in the granary. Uh, and we keep it there and we'll be eating uh, from there. And yeah, that's the village life, you know. Such that sometimes when you don't have money, not that you can't survive, you can survive without money. Uh, but when things come to the worst, you can go without. You know, when the worst comes to the worst, um, you can go without money in the village. You take um, you take your maize, you take it to the grinding mill, which is a dollar in my village for a bucket, a twenty liter bucket. Take it to the grinding mill, they grind it for you for a dollar, and you come back home. You take your peanuts, you make your own peanut butter. Uh, you'll be having a garden where you have your vegetables, so you put peanut butter in your vegetables. Sometimes you press oil, like for cooking, from the peanut butter, from the peanuts. Uh, so, you know, the tomatoes, the onions, you get it from the garden. So, a dollar can stretch, like in the, in the village. You only need a dollar for the grinding mill, everything else you have it at home. Uh, so, during the rainy season, you'll be having a lot of those um, natural can I say relish, you know, like the spider leaf, you have it, or the pumpkin leaves. So what we do in the village, we dry them. When we have them in abundance, we will be drying them so that during the summer like this, you see, it's so dry. There's nothing on the fields, you know, they, 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 there's nothing at all. So we'll be going to get the dried vegetables and... um 
the meat when you have meat in abundance you kill a cow or you kill a goat or a sheep you dry the meat because um we don't have electricity in the village uh, so during the summer season you know we we use the the vegetables or the meat that we would have dried uh if we want fresh vegetables so we get them from the garden you know uh so you can see that in my village you can go sometimes without money um if things are really difficult uh sometimes sugar is a luxury in my village but um people can afford it's not that they can't afford i'm only talking of situations when the waste comes to the west you know sugar becomes a luxury in the village uh but people in my village can afford most of them can afford um like to have the basics like the basics that they need in their homes uh so this is my village during the summer season so dry so dusty but this is our home and um we feel at peace here we feel at peace uh when we are here you know this is our home so let's go i show you some more of this village during the summer season And yes, our roads get really dusty, as you can see here. Um, during the rainy season, the roads can get a bit sticky and dusty during the summer, as you can see here. But well, we don't complain. This is our home, our narrow roads. You have to go to the extreme left um, for, you, for, for the other car to pass, you know and we understand each other and we don't care you know we, we don't complain we actually understand each other when driving on the roads uh so this is my village this is my home and um everything is so dry um these little trees that you see with a bit of leaves on them they are thorn trees they are thorn trees and as you know thorn trees are used to the dry um to the dry environment so these leaves they just don't fall off like that uh you have a little like green leaves as you can see here the little leaves as you can see these are thorn trees we have different types of thorn trees here in my village i don't know the names in english <laughs> you know um maybe sometime when i get to re to do some research and i know the names of these thorn trees in english i'll come here and tell you but we have different types of thorn trees in my village uh mostly we have thorn trees because my village is um it's more of in the dry region of the country gets so dry and gets so hot during the summer season but well I'm not complaining this is home for us and we love home this is a shopping area this is a shopping area here uh padeure 
you know it's called Padeure Deure shopping center here in Saka this is Deure shopping center few shops you know that we go to when we need uh maybe you run out of salt or anything you know you just run here buy and go back home and cook uh so these are the grazing lands these are the grazing lands for our animals as you can see they are so dry and there's no grass here so what do we do uh like i showed you in my last video like after harvest we take the maize stalk from the fields and we uh, we pile them on top of the kettle pans. Um, so during the day, we let our animals out to go and graze in these lands because the lands will be so dry and there's no grass. Um, we know our animals uh, won't get their fill, you know, they'll come back home hungry. So what we do, we go on top of the kettle pans, we take down a, a, a little um, of those mess top that we'll have put on top, and then we put it in the kettle pans. So our animals will be like eating this, um, uh, this mess talk during the night, you know. So we can't afford to 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 plant the hay firstly we don't have that much land uh we don't have um the money to buy the seed we don't have even enough rains um for us to plant the hay so we make do with what we have after harvest we take our main stalk that becomes the hay for our animals here in in my village you know so we know that our animals will be good during this dry season when there's no grass for them to feed on in the, uh, on the pastures. Uh, so yeah, this is the village life. So our animals don't go hungry during the summer season. We always have our main stock is the hay that we give that we give to our animals. As you can see, it's so dry, and the animals, you know. They always find something to nibble on, but we know that they won't get their fill. Like you see here on top of that tree, those are my mist that they they, 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 they harvested on their fields. And we just don't let it go. We keep it. Like you see here on top of the kettle pen, um, this is the hay in Africa in my village. Yeah. And our animals don't go hungry, you know. These are the grazing fields, so dry, but we always make do with what we have in my village. So let's go, i show you more of my village. And look at that sunset is this not beautiful guys is this not beautiful you know in the village that's why I love the village so much you get to experience nature in its virginity you know in the city you won't experience this kind of sunset why because of the tall buildings are uh, you'll be so crowded you know and um, the pollution and everything, you won't experience this. This is a beauty. Look at that. Is this not beautiful? Is this not beautiful? Yeah, this is my village. You get to experience this. So beautiful. Look at that. Look at that sunset. So beautiful. It's so beautiful um, in the village. That's why I love village life so much. You get to see the beauty of nature. You get to experience nature in its virginity, you know. Yeah, there's global warming. Things are changing, I know. But um, in the village, at least it's still better than what it is like 
um, in the cities. Uh, so let's go. I show you more of my village. <laughs> And you'll notice that um, we don't meet a lot of people on the road during this time of the day in my village. Why? Uh, because um, in my village, it's more of a culture. Uh, you only travel at night when it's necessary. It's unlike in the city where uh, during the night you can decide let me go and visit a family member or let me go and buy vegetables or let me go into town or let me go and visit a friend uh not here in my village in my village when it's getting um dark we all go home and um we concentrate on doing our household chores at home not that um there's any danger lurking in the village or in the corners or in the forest or behind a tree or another no it's more of a culture you know we all go home during the night um i know there's no electricity in my village um most of the families they don't even have solar panels so there's little entertainment sometimes you'll find that um there's a radio that is powered by a battery or a small, very small uh, solar panel or a very small battery. And um, the family will gather maybe in the kitchen. Uh, during the summer season, we make our fires outside and we cook from outside because it will be so hot in our round kitchen huts. Uh, so we will be outside with a little radio and uh we get to experience more of family of uh family time in the village than they do in the city uh in the city during the during the evening they, they, they gather watch television or you know they are on their phones or but not in the village in the village you have more of our family life make a fire during the summer we make it outside uh and it's safe you know make your fire outside and uh, we cook from outside when uh there's no solar panel we use candles uh like to light in the houses because it will be so dark and sometimes you'll find that a family can be having one candle on a homestead like for example you see this house here this is just an example i'm not saying they have one candle this house here, it has many rooms and a kitchen outside. 
you know like you see here the kitchen this one i don't know what's happening here but this will be the kitchen and the bedroom so many rooms and they'll be having just one kennel uh so they know when we are in the kitchen or when we are outside we use the fire like as a source of light the fire because we use firewood in my village so we use the fire as the source of light so when we are going to the bedrooms to sleep we take that one candle to the boys room and then the boys they go to sleep we take it to the girls room they use that light to prepare then they sleep then we go to the main bedroom and then um our parents sleep and after that we 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 we, we, we blow out the candle because it has to last for as long as as is possible you know this is um this is village life and sometimes you notice that um in some homes they won't be having beds so they they, they spread their blankets on the floor so they take the candle they spread their blankets on the floor and they sleep and then they they they, they have to blow out the candle because it has to last as much as is possible you know but even in that situation, it brings the, the family closer together because we know that we have to share the little that we have. One candle must, um, we have to share. That one candle uh, must be used by everybody at home. You know, we have to share that one candle and we can't afford to be selfish, you know. So sometimes, yeah, life will be difficult but it becomes a blessing in disguise it becomes a blessing in disguise it be, it brings us closer together as a family like in the city you know you just have to switch on the lights in your room you go to your room you sleep you go to your room and the, the other goes to the room you, you know you won't even know if this one is sleeping or if this one is having trouble or is going through some situations in uh, you know in their lives but when you're in the village you'll be so close together such that you know you get to know each other if a family member is in trouble you, you get to know when you're in the village because you know you'll be so close together you know um when they are not happy you know you get to know you know village life it brings the family so close together you know so hard times are a blessing in disguise here in my village you know um because it brings it brings us close together we know that we have to share you know sometimes there'll be just one bar of soap um we have to share that going bathing or washing our clothes you you have to make sure the brother or the sister or the cousin or whoever is at home uses that one bar of soap you know and we don't complain we don't complain um we we are we are we become a close-knit family uh when we are here in the village uh so this is village life for you this is my village here in Jerera zaka in Zimbabwe uh, so if you are coming here on my channel for the first time I'm asking you to please please subscribe comment like the video and share this video if it's not your first time here on the channel thank you so much for the support that you are giving me on this channel um, your support is not underestimated I thank you so so much for your support uh, so in my next video, I'll be like explaining why I haven't been able to post um, on my channel like for quite some time. Um, so make sure you get to watch my next video because you know it will be an exciting video. I promise you this. It will be quite an exciting video and um, make sure that you don't miss this uh next video that i shall be posting on my channel uh so bye i'll see you in my next video where i'll be explaining a lot of things and you know